你个下狗，系我个下狗。Today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be trying some Thailand snacks. This is a pretzel, and it's a lapgay flavored pretzel. How awesome is that? I've never ever even heard of something like that. That is my all-time favorite Thai dish. It's a chicken lap salad, and this comes in a little box. I'm actually really excited to try this one because I'm just wondering how much different it is from. The actual chicken lap salad looks like a little pocky stick, but it's a savory one because the pocky sticks are usually sweet flavored. Mmm, it's very crunchy, as you could probably hear, but it doesn't taste like lap gay. It just tastes like it just tastes like a barbecue flavored pretzel. It's a little bit sour, and I'm thinking that's a lap gay flavor because normally it's drenched with lime. Not very impressive because I love lap gay, and of course I can't compare this to the actual. Dish because it's not real. It's just flavored, but it's still very addicting. This is the first time I've seen it. It's pretzel flavored lap in Thailand. Nothing extraordinary. As much as I said I don't like that, I can't stop eating it. It kind of smells like a barbecue shape. You know the un shapes in Australia. It smells like that. The barbecue slash pizza flavored one. If only Arnold's made a lap gay flavored. Shape, huh? That would be awesome. Next, oh look at this. Lay's. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard that Thailand has the most flavored lay's. They've got really weird and unusual flavors, and maybe because Thailand has so many different dishes, lay's kind of catering to those flavors. And this is a mian kum flavor. This is something I actually had before. It's like a little treat, a little dessert that's kind of wrapped up into a mint leaf, and it has all these flavors. It has lime, chili, ginger. It has this really, really sweet kind of sugar, this syrupy sugar inside it. I've had that actual treat before. I'm just wondering how it will taste in a Lay's potato chips. It kind of looks like a light and tangy flavor. Oh yeah, very tangy. Has a very Artificial sour taste to it, kind of like the lime flavored potato chip, and a little bit spicy, little bit, just a very touch. The actual real dessert is actually a lot more sweeter. This one is not as sweet; it's just a little bit tangy. I mean, it still has that Lay's signature potato crunch to it, but the flavor itself, almost like a lime peel flavor. That's really all I taste. Mostly the lime; it's kind of. In there, I don't really taste the ginger or the onion. The chili is not very strong as well. You can see some chili color in there, but it's not that strong. It's mostly just the sour. I'll say I prefer these over the actual dessert because the mian kum was actually really sweet because that syrupy sugar just really took over the whole dessert, and I couldn't really taste much of the other ingredients. But this one is not as sweet. The smell kind of smells a little bit fishy in a way. I don't know if I got that correct. I don't know what it smells like. Can't compare it to anything. You can't really smell the lemon. Can't really smell the the sourness. It's more just maybe that salty flavor. I love just sitting here and chowing down on snacks. It's like a guilty pleasure. It's the best. Next, this one is a seaweed snack. Hey, look, they've got got seven on there. I got the um, the chili flavored ones. They had the original ones as well, but I wanted to have a bit of spice into it. And I actually I've had these before, and they're. Freaking amazing! Look at this. They have a really interesting texture. It's not like a unusual seaweed that I've had before, where it's 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 a lot more kind of see-throughish. This is like a little bit thicker, and it kind of it's kind of like a paper. See the the, the chili's jam packed in there, so it's actually really spicy. This one, one of my favorite snacks in Bangkok so far. Mmm, it's a little bit salty, and it's that spicy powder that they put on it that is. So good. I could just open a pack of these and finish it in no time because that's how much I enjoy it. It's so good. I kind of don't want to stop on these now. It's really addicting. I could eat this every day. The seaweed doesn't really have a have a smell to it, which is good. You know, a lot of people don't like that fishy smell. Next, let's see what else I got. It says taro there, so I'm guessing it's. Is it a taro flavor? Contains soybean, wheat flour, and egg. It's a squid snack. I really doubt that it's real squid, but it looks delicious. Now, 
See, these are like little squid strips. I really have no idea what flavor. Oh, it's a taro. Yeah, so it's, it's, it says taro there. So it's a taro extra fish snack. Spicy flavor. So it's a spicy taro. Taro extra fish snack. Spicy flavor. It's not squid. It's a fish. I should have saw that fish on there. So it's a fish snack and it's spicy flavor. There's little, little, little chili peppers in there. Whoa. It's really chewy. Like, it's like really tough. It's not like a chip. So it's, it's like a fish, dried fish. Yeah, and it's quite chewy. You're chewing it for a while. It's kind of like a salty dried fish. The chili's not that spicy. It has like a, a fishy aftertaste. Very slight, not too bad. It kind of feels like I'm chewing on cardboard. That's the texture, it's like a soft cardboard. You know those dry squid that they kind of sell? Tastes similar to that, less fishy. Dry squid has more of a kind of fishy taste and smell to it. This one's not too bad. I mean, when you smell it, it smells like a bag of fish, but when you eat it, it's actually not too bad. Wouldn't say it's my favorite. Next, lucky last. This I haven't seen before. It is a preserved fruit, salted papaya. I'm guessing it's a real papaya that has been dried up and flavored. Ah, this is much easier to open. I can already smell, it kind of smells like the dry tamarind flavor. It's a little bit sour and salty. It looks like it's like kind of had a layer of flavoring over it. Yeah, very sour. I don't know if papaya could be just sour. Whoa, it's like those dry tamarinds. Tastes exactly like that. Salted dry tamarinds. It's nice and chewy, easy to bite into. A layer of flavor on the outside is, that's what the sourness is coming from, is that flavor. Because I really doubt papaya is that sour. Yeah, see, I can really taste that flavoring is really sour. Let's go. Papaya, salt, sugar, citrus acid. I'm guessing it's a citrus acid that is really sour. Yeah, it's kind of good when, when you have a sore throat. It's one of those products, you know, like you've got a sore throat or and you're maybe sick and you don't really have a, your taste buds are not really in the mood for anything. Have one of these and it kind of just enhances your taste buds. But I've got to say, out of all these snacks, I mean, they were all totally interesting but my favorite would still have to be the seaweed I love these seaweed every time I go into a store here whether it's Big C or Tesco or, or 7-eleven I always well mostly if I get snacks I'll buy these because they never fail me thank you so much for joining me on my Bangkok snack adventure if there are any snacks that you think I should try please let me know comment down below and recommend anything doesn't matter where you are in the world i would love to hear from you guys remember until next time you've only got one life live it